<laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now because I feel like a mad scientist. I got my project back today. I just took it out the box. I looked at it. I've been working on this. This is my pneumatic powered supercharger. Pneumatic means gases, so it's driven by compressed gases, CO2, or an onboard air system. This is the electric supercharger killer, in my opinion. This bad boy is exactly what is needed, so you don't have to be worried about expensive electronics and heating when you're converting battery power into mechanical work. So this is the, the supercharger that I've been working on and hopefully um, we get this baby in a car soon and do some dyno testing. But first, before we do that, we have to put it through a series of tests to see exactly what it's doing. Get some of my Victory water here. And the reason why I did this is because I'm all about cheap boost. Originally, you know, I was looking to install a remote turbo on my car. Remote turbo was too expensive. I started looking into electric superchargers and they didn't work. The only ones that did work were the, the Thomas Knight one and the the uh, superpowercharger.com that's no longer around. Those are the only ones that actually work. So I said to myself, oh, I'll build my own because I'm just a do-it-yourself kind of guy. So this is where we are. This is an evolution because I wanted more power, you know. You know, 2 to 3 PSI is great, but eventually we all want more power. So this is an evolution of the B2B electric supercharger. So air motor puts out horsepower. Horsepower is torque times RPM divided by 525. The horsepower turns the rotors. The rotors pull in air. The rotors push the air out into your engine to the point where the air starts to stack up on itself in between the supercharger and your combustion chamber and you get compression. The air is compressing. Compression in your cylinders equals more horsepower. It gives you the ability to burn more fuel, to add more fuel. Bam! So this is a pneumatic power supercharger and what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the blog we're going to talk about this we're going to talk about the power requirements to run this supercharger I'm going to put the um, the information from Eaton the power requirement map the compressor map the uh, the uh, efficiency map because this supercharger has like I talked about in the other video about compressor maps this supercharger as well has maps so there's no law in physics that says oh this has to be driven by belts no Thomas Knight made an electric supercharger that was driven by electric motors and it made what 20 psi on a 2 liter engine this has the similar horsepower output this is going to make this the similar amount of boost on a 2 point on a 2 liter engine Plus, we're using an M90 supercharger. He's using an M62, so we're going to put out more air because we're using a larger supercharger. So look forward to, to the next videos because we're going to do this step by step. I have the, my CO2 tank on the way. We're going to run first test. We're going to run this off a of CO2 tank. Then we're going to move it to the uh, shop at my school because I'm a student in college. We're going to take it to the shop. And do some test air on various uh, pressures and see what our rotor speeds are, see what our horsepower is. So, man, I'm like, I'm stoked because now I'm like He Man. I got the power, okay? How much boost do I want to run? I can run as much boost as I want anytime I want if I run this off a, uh, a onboard air system. I got potential boost. So instead of getting one of those sheet metal electric superchargers or one of these electric superchargers connected to a bilge motor, um, I did the I did the work. You know, I outsourced. I you know I searched for the the, the cheapest blower. I got the blower on eBay for like 120 bucks. Got the motor. 
you know, looking, searching for parts, you know, keeping things, you know, used parts, keeping things as cheap as possible. Because, hey, I don't know about you guys, but I got a wife, two kids, and I'm a full-time student. So, I need cheap boost. And guess what? Now, I have cheap boost for the rest of my life or whenever I need it. Okay, now I know. That's the whole the whole thing about B2B. It's about knowing. It's about having that knowledge you need to get the performance you want. So now I got all the boost I need. I don't have to worry about, you know, four thousand dollars on a on a turbo or a supercharger that I have to leave in that car. This I can take this and move it from car to car. I can move it into a boat if I wanted to. I can move it into a ski mobile if I if I'm doing that that crazy you know ski mobile drag racing on on ice and lakes and all that stuff. I can put this in anything I want. Turbo assist, you know, to spool up a turbo to give it a boost lag, a turbo lag. I can do whatever I want with this. Part time boost when I want it on demand. So look forward to the, like I said, look forward to more videos and check out the blog because I'm going to update the blog and we're going to start talking about this. And guys, give me some feedback. Tell me what you guys think about this. So, you know, because I'm always, hey, I, I got ears. So hook me up. Give me some feedback because that's how B2B started. You know, a person emailed me and they said, hey, hey, Chris, how would you do this? You know, how would you make an electric supercharger? And I'm still scratching my hand. I'm like, hmm, you know, and I start. You know, that bug comment. I'll start building stuff, and and here we are. Okay, guys, I got to go. So, uh, peace out.